Today concept is very very important concept that is inheritance. Inheritance. What is inheritance? Inheritance is the one of the concept. Inheritance is the one of the concept. Concept provided by Java. Which is used for which is used for extending the parent class of two child class. Inheritance. Inheritance is the one of the concept provided by Java, which is used for extending the parent class stuff to child class. We are extending the all the parent class properties to child class. We are extending the all the parent class properties to child class. All parent class properties will extend to child class. How? Yes. What is the concept? What is the use of this concept? Today we will discuss. For example, I am taking one class, father class. I am taking one class, father class. I am giving two functions to this father class. One is earn, second one is drive. I am giving two functions for this father class. And I am taking another class, son class. Here I am giving two properties, two functions or properties, drink and smoke. I am taking another class, grandson class. I am giving here also two functions. One is study and next one is play. Okay. Here I am taking a different different classes. Three classes. Father class, son class and grandson class. So last session we taken only one class that is the by class and under the class we declared the functions and we called from main method. We called from main method. But here is different. Here we need to take different different classes, and we need to call the all the functions from another new class. Okay. Here we need to take four classes. Here we need to take four classes. Father class different, son class different, grandson class different, and we need to take another new class, and we can call the all the functions from that particular class. How we can call? Today we will discuss. Okay. Before going to that, so father having two functions only here. Fathers having two functions or two properties. Okay, now I'm here. You need to remember only for one logic. A extends B. A extends B. That means B properties will come to A. So here I'm writing. Oh, son extends father. What will happen? Son extends father. Son extends to father. That means father properties will come to son. So son can get four properties. Properties total two plus two four properties. Now A extends B. That means B property will come to A. Okay, B properties will come to A. Now here grandson extends to son. What will happen? Four plus two. Already son having. Uh, already son having four properties. Six properties. Grandson get six properties. This is the concept to inheritance. Inheritance is the one of the concept provided by Java, which is used for extending the parent class of to child class. We are extending the all the parent class properties to child class. Father having only two properties. So son extends father. I'm writing father will come. Father two properties will come to son class. So son having four properties. Uh, son can get four properties. Now grandson having only two properties. But I am here. I'm writing extends son already son having four properties. So son can uh, grandson can get six properties. Uh, if you take any other new grandson or any grand grand grandson, he can take. Uh, One more two properties. Ah uh, yes, right.
that is the concept i will show you now mm. once again i am taking new project i am taking new project java project click on next i am giving project name is mm, world click on finish first of all after creating project we can get two uh, two folders one is src second one is jre right click on src take the new class and taking one class father class okay only i am taking class i am not keeping any mark that means i don't want any main method now why because here we need to declare in the class okay I don't want any main method. Why? Because if it is only single class, and I can take a class with main method. But here I want to take four classes. That's the reason I'm taking only one class. Father class only taking. Only class taking. Father. There is no main method. Ah, uh, right now no need. No need now. Okay. Now I'm writing functions. Public. Void. are no yes s y s for control space father ending i am writing father ending this is a property is this property is belongs to father that is the reason i am uh, writing logic is father ending next public void mm, drive S Y S for control space. Father driving. These two functions belongs to father. Copy. So, I wrote two functions. One is and other one is drive. Now I am taking another new class. Go to S R C. Take the new class. Class name is son. Only I am taking class. I am not taking any main method. So, sir, drink and smoke. sun smoking so next i am taking another new class grandson go to src take the new class grandson here also i am taking only one class play and study play grandson playing study grandson studying okay right now i'm taking another new class with main method go to src take the new class with main method and taking class name is in here i am now i am taking main method i am keeping the mark click on finish now ah uh, in the fourth class and i declared three different classes and i want to call the all the functions from this main method okay how to call tell me yesterday i told you all are non static okay if it is non static what we need to do hmm i want i want to call the all the functions from that three classes already de i declared three classes father class son class and grandson class now i want to call the all the functions from this main method how we can call what we need to write we need to create the object how to create the object how to create the object madam bina madam tell me how to create the object madam 
Last name is father. Father is equal to new father. Father is equal to new father. F dot earn. We can get earn method. F dot drive. Right. Father can only two functions. Next son. Son is equal to new son. Son also get two functions. S dot drink. S dot smoke. Only you can get two two functions only. Grandson. Grandson G equal to new grandson. G dot study. G dot play. So, this is not inheritance. This is not inheritance. So here we are taking number of classes and just to, I declared three classes in some functions and I called from main method. Okay, this is normal class. Now I want to apply inheritance. Now I want to apply inheritance. How to apply inheritance? After son extends father. So father property son can get now. Save. Go and check it. Son is getting father properties or not. S dot earn. Oh, coming. He is getting. S dot uh, drive. He is getting. Right. Father properties also. Now, grandson extends. Oh, uh, yes. Extends the son. Now here, grandson get uh, four more properties. G dot earn father properties. G dot drive. G dot drink. G dot smoke. So, father can get two functions only. Son can, can get uh, four pro and grandson can get six so save click on run what we wrote that logic will get in the console area father ending of father driving a son drinking of son smoking father ending of father driving a grandson studying a grandson playing a father ending of father driving a son drinking of son smoking that is the inheritance concept where it's very very easy concept simple concept that is inheritance okay it's very very easy yesterday class only we taken only one class we uh, we declared functions under class and we called from main method but here is we are taking different different classes we declared functions in three classes i'm taking new class with main method and uh, i'm calling the all the functions from this main method so if you want to call the all the functions from this main method we need to create the object why because Whenever I'm declaring the functions, I gave non-static. I declared as a non-static. So now if it is non-static, we need to create the object. How to create the object? Class name, reference name equal to new class name. Class name is father, reference name is f equal to new father. So just we can call the, all the functions from that classes. Okay. Right. That is the inheritance concept. Next concept. Compulsory, you need to practice overloading. Overloading, very, very important concept is overloading. Overloading is nothing but if at all a function more than one time in a class. But a function more than one time in a class with different arguments like type of args comma number of args if 
you write then the concept is if you write then that concept is overloading simple concept okay if i tell you a function more than one time in a class i am writing not only single time i am try i am writing multiple times but with different arguments like type of args or number of args i am writing so then that concept is called overloading if at all a function more than one time in a class with different arguments like type of args or number of args so then that concept is called overloading same function i am writing number of times same function i am writing number of times so that's why that concept is called overloading if at all a function more than one time in a class with different arguments like that is type of args or number of args if we write then that concept is called overloading same function i am writing multiple times in the same class oh okay how to we can write we can discuss now i am going to src take the new class class name is over keep the mark public static void menu click on finish right hmm and declaring one function public static void addition add into a comma into b i am writing one add function int r a s equal to a plus b s y s o control space r e s result right wait one second i will explain you each and everything right observe carefully i am i am writing add function here also i am writing add function i am also here writing add function if at all a function more than one time in a class i am writing that's why that is called overloading finished if at all a function more than one time in a class okay finished with different arguments like type of args type of args ki best example so this is the into data type and third one double data type okay first one is into data type integer data type and third one is double data type decimal data type we are taking i am taking so this is a type of arguments example next number of argument example in the first function i am taking two arguments and the second function i am taking three arguments int a comma int b comma int c this is number of argument example one and first and third first and third is example for type of argument example and first and second first and second is example for number of argument example okay if at all a function more than one time in a class with different arguments like type of args or number of args if we write then that concept is called overloading now i can pass the values here add 10 20 add 10 comma 20 comma 30 add 0.2 comma 0.3 so it will run three functions save click on run 
30 30 uh, 60 oh here we are uh, a b plus c m is c <laughs> save click on run we can get 30 60 0 0.5 okay now you can get one doubt sir sir whenever you are declaring any function every time you are writing wide sir why you are writing wide okay sir okay i don't want any return value that's why i'm writing void i don't want any return value i don't want any return value that's why i'm writing void so if you want to return value what we need to do in the place of void we need to write the data type if you write the data type automatically it will give the one return value the return value we we need to store into one variable and we can print it Enti? What is the use of void? I don't want any return value. That's why I'm writing void. I don't want any return value. That's why I'm writing void. If you want return value in the place of void, we need to write the data type. Once if you write the data type, automatically it will give the return value. That return value we need to store into one variable and we can print it. Okay. So observe. Now concentrate, concentrate. In the place of void, I'm writing data type. Into data type, I'm writing. So it will give return value automatically it is showing error why it is showing error i applied for return value but uh, here no need of system dot out dot print ln. simply we can write return so it is giving return value in the place of void i am writing data type only in the place of void here also i am writing data type int it will give return value simply we can write return Next, in the place of void, I'm writing double. It will give return value, so no need of this one. Return. Yes. Now we need to store into one variables. I'm taking one int x. I'm storing in. It is giving return value. We need to store into one variable. Int x. Int y and double z so it is giving return value so we need to print already we, i stored in x y z so we need to print s y s for control space x s y s for control space y s y s for control space z enough it will give the same answer, same output we can get. In the place of void, we are writing data type. Once if we write the data type, it will give the return value. We need to we need to store into one variable and we can print here. Uh, same value. Same answer, same output we can get. But same, just we are changing some uh, code. Right. And you need to observe carefully. This is very, very important question. Here I am declaring int x equal to add 10 comma 20 and declaration type integer data type I am giving I can't pass decimal values I can't pass decimal values if I pass decimal values it will show underline error it will show got it that is integer data type I can't pass the decimal value uh, if it is double I can pass the integer values here if it is double I can pass the integer values as well as double values but the result should be 5.0 <laughs> save click on ok why because it is decimal double double is decimal type that is the reason it is giving 5.0 Okay, this is the concept of overloading concept. Inheritance and overloading. Both friends and Bina Madam and Srinivas Garu compulsory practice these two sessions and two concepts. Every day slowly learn these concepts but practice required. Initially practice required. After entering into advanced concept we can firstly we can discuss but if it is for introduction classes is very very important. It is base.